Hi, I'm Chef Mark McEwen, and I'm going to show you how to grill Sebring with capers and herbs. This is my all-time favorite recipe for this fish, and you'll see how easy it is to actually prepare a whole fish. So let's go through this. We're going to talk about how we prepare this fish and get it ready for the grill. Our first step is take all the bones out of this beauty. You need a good sharp knife. You're going to go in under the fins and right behind the gill and bring it right down to the bone. Then you go right behind the other gill. Let me take the head off the fish. Put your knife along the spine. And you're just going to tick along, cutting all those rib bones, making sure you don't go through the end. Leave the tail attached. I'm going to flip the fish over and do exactly the same thing. And then I cut it off. What I have is two fillets that appears to be a whole fish because you've left the tail on. I do a very light trim on the tail just to square it off. And then I open it up and I take the rib bones out. You just glide your knife underneath. And what you can do is you can get your fishmonger to do all this work for you. A nice little tip for you, either you have tweezers or pliers, pull those little pin bones out of the fish, and you'll feel it on the inside when you've taken the rib bones out. We pull those all out. Those are the ones that when you're eating the fish, you find them in your mouth. So we have a boneless fish. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna marinate the inside of that fish. So I'm just gonna chop a little bit of this up. And now we don't need a lot. A little bit will go a long, long way. So that's the oregano, fresh thyme, tiny bit of rosemary, and just one sage leaf and a few pieces of parsley. Chop that up fine. And bring my fish over. I want to score the skin. That allows the thickness of the fish to cook more evenly than the thinner side of the fillet. I lift that fillet up. We're going to drop this down in between. A little smattering of fresh herbs. Just beautiful. A little bit of salt and pepper. The next job is to get our croutons ready. So the first thing we're doing is imparting flavor into the oil by adding garlic. Really good amount of olive oil in, medium temperature. We just want the aromatics of the garlic to impermeate the olive oil. While we're waiting for that to come up, I just want to cut the focaccia. When you say crouton, I don't like a diced up crouton. What I like is when you pull them, all little odd sizes, small kind of go at it randomly. And when they cook, they get crispy. They have all these little funny edges to them. Much, much better. So that's there to add texture, flavor, and that little bit of crunch and contrast on the plate. So here we have our garlic is starting to color. Just get rid of the actual garlic. And you've got this beautiful perfume of garlic coming out of the oil. I'm gonna drop these guys in. Now this is a tricky job. You have to really watch these. A little drop of salt. Salt, olive oil, garlic, it's like heaven together. And these croutons are coming up to color while we're talking. Beautiful. And I'm just gonna reserve the oil. There we go. So now we're gonna cook our fish. It's really important that you oil this grill so that the skin will not stick. So this is a cast iron grill. I've rubbed it with a towel and oil a few times. So if you have a barbecue at home, do it outside. But again, you need to do the same thing to your barbecue grill. And then we're just gonna make sure that this fish is very well lubricated with oil. See that? That's what I wanna hear. That sound, I know I have good temperature. That grill is talking to me. But we're gonna let that fish sit there for a while. Now the trick is to make our sauce. But what I wanna do first is cut up some lemon segments. So what I do with a lemon, I cut the top end and the bottom end off, and I stand it up. Just make a slice down the lemon, and then what you do is you find that line where you cut with the flesh and you run your knife along it each and every time. And what you land up with is a peeled lemon. And in between each pith, so there's sections of lemon, I just run my knife and out pops a seedless, beautiful fillet of lemon. Very easy to do. And I just squeeze that off. What I'm looking for to flip this fish and to get it onto its other side is that that fillet is almost cooked through that the skin is crispy and caramelized, and our fish is ready to go. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna finalize our sauce. I'm gonna cut up a bunch of chives, and then we'll mix all our ingredients into our oil that we saved from the, the crouton. We have our garlic oil. I'm gonna drop off that lemon juice, kosher salt, good amount of pepper, big punch of chives, rough cut Italian parsley, 
little bit of mint. The mint is spectacular. It just adds this other element to the dish. And then our capers for sourness. And we're just gonna mix those together. So we are ready to plate. I'm gonna get the fish off the grill. The skin on this is beautifully crispy. It's so delectable, fantastic. And you just strewn it across the fish. Drills of that oil all around. So little lemon segments around. Dance one off the top. And the last thing, we're adding this big contrast of crunch, just a few of the croutons across the top, and they mix in with the oil. And this is large enough that really it would feed two people very nicely. And there you have it, grilled sea bream with capers and herbs. One of my favorites.